So we're gonna go from high to low plank, which is your high plank into your chaturanga. We're gonna separate the fingers as wide as you can. And once you find your plank position, feet are as wide as your hips and your wrists under your shoulders. You're gonna take your elbows, especially if they're turned out this far, and you're gonna turn them to the back wall so that you can engage through your triceps. And I want you to tuck up through your pelvis so that you're turning your abdominals on. We're gonna squeeze through the glutes, we're squeezing through the thighs. And something to remember about chaturanga is that we're moving forward as we lower down. So pay close attention to my head that's gonna be getting closer to the wall that's in front of me. And my feet will step up just a little bit too so that I can joint stack. My shoulders are gonna stay right in line with my elbows. My elbows are gonna be on top of my wrists. So once you get there and you tuck your elbows in real tight, and I'm using the triceps and I'm using my core, then you're gonna keep your chin neutral so that your neck, your cervical spine, is not being compromised. What I notice with my students um, going into chaturanga is that a lot of times they have their hips start to drop and sag, and that's because they're not engaged through the glutes. A big thing that I notice is that the elbows are turned out to the side wall rather than turning them back, you know, so that the elbows are facing the back wall so you can engage through your triceps. And a lot of times there's a shoulder shrug, which we're already doing all day long with this kind of stuff. When I'm teaching the chaturanga pose, a lot of times I find that people don't want to modify because they feel like it's less of a pose, but that's not true at all. Actually, the modification is what will make you stronger. Um, so what I would like you to do is, if you feel like your hips start to sag towards the floor, I want you to bring your knees down and, and keep that angle and keep that pelvic tuck so that you're keeping the abdominals on, but you don't have to have as much weight. So when you drop the knees, that takes the weight off, but you're still engaging through your abdominals. And then when you lower down, you want to make sure the shoulders come down away from the ears. So we're not doing that shoulder shrug thing that we get stuck doing all the time. Because the muscle has memory, so it winds up remembering. And then we just kind of shrug up. So the shoulders come down, and we're kind of bringing the shoulder blades back a little bit as you lower down into your chaturanga. And the body moves just a little bit forward. So you might have to take that tiny little step with your feet to walk yourself up.